guys welcome back here's another review that I got this week um, it's going to be the AC 600 Wi-Fi uh, ad USB adapter okay and this is dual band so it should work on uh, 2.4 and 5 and the 5 gigahertz so this is my old one right which worked for about two years and then all of a sudden I think uh, I don't want to blame the kids, but somebody it would they would always hit it or knock it or or something, and um, and this is this uh, is a is a I think it's a three decibel antenna, and so so you can get like a wider range of uh, I mean so you can like get uh, pick up because this is a receiver. So it would pick up the signal uh, a lot further from a further distance. Well, uh, as you already may know, I have a 400 freaking dollar, oh no, I switched it for the $200 one, but I have the, uh, what was it, the AC5200 um, Wi-Fi router, and that one covered my whole house. I mean, I'm halfway down the block and I still pick up my signal. So I don't really need something this you know this much uh, power um, which is what it is right you're using more power so it's actually sucking more power from the USB um, and anyways I, it was just broken and if you guys want to look this one up this is a part number WF2119S and I'll put it here or here I'm just kidding I'll put it down below um, so anyways, this is what I had, right? And, eh, I mean, I always got like, I think about a 30 megabit connection was probably the highest that I could pick up on this. And so, um, uh, when I went to go, I went online to go look for another, um, antenna, uh, or Wi-Fi adapter, um, I found, I came across this one. And this is the AC600 Wi-Fi dual band USB adapter. That is a mouthful. Okay, so I decided since my Wi-Fi router is a dual band um, router, I would go with the dual band antenna adapter. I keep saying antennas because these things are basically an antenna that bring in your Wi-Fi signal to your 20, well, I guess a computer because you would have to put it to a computer, but it's very simple. I mean, it's just plug it in and pick it up if you need to or whatever. It comes with a 90 degree angle um, mold right there. So you can put it in like this or you can just drop it in like this. And if you remember, my antennas are, are facing up. I got them from 90 degree because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six antennas. I've got them going from 15 degree, 45 and 90. So always remember that this has to be either in one of those directions, right? To get the best signal. You can put it flat like this and it's not gonna pick up um, as good as it would if it picked up and I put it at a 90 degree. And I learned that from flying planes, right? When you're flying planes and you're losing signal, you know, you always have to remember to keep the antenna facing whatever the receiver is on the on the actual RC plane. Um, anyways, sidetrack. Um, this antenna, uh, it's a it's a 802.11, you know, 802.11 uh, AC standard. And uh, for those of you who know, AC is like the highest speed. Yeah, and so it's a 600, right? I think uh, the, the uh, I, I really don't remember all the other, um, what's it called, all the other uh, speeds, but there was the B, the G, the E, the N, and by this I mean 802.11N, 802.11B, you know, whatever. Um, but this, the AC is the fastest right now, right? 
and it says that it uh, the maximum speed of the 5 gigahertz is 433 megabits per second or the 2.4 which is 150 megabits per second it's not necessarily what you're gonna pick up okay so I mean sometimes you want to buy the best product and then you have the shittiest freaking network so you're not gonna pick up the speeds that it says right here okay so just remember that um, I think this one the highest speed I've picked up on this one has been like 72 megabytes per second and that was running on my 5 gigahertz and um, what I did if you have a smart router like mine um, if it's not getting it's always gonna look for the fastest signal right so if it shuts off at like I don't know uh, if it's, it's getting like 30 megabits per second I have it to I have it automatically switch to the next um, to the next signal right so I mean I, I'm not gonna get into that either but you can program your router so that if you're not getting enough speed at a certain signal you want it to switch and I have them switching because of my 5 gigahertz um, I have a tri-band not a dual band which means I have a 2.4 right I have a 5.1 and a 5.2 and so it just keeps going until it gets the highest and that's where it's going to stay in case something happens and if something happens to the 5 gigahertz it goes down whatever it'll switch to the 2.4 and it'll keep going until it always has the highest the highest uh, uh, rate or speed um, so yeah I mean <clears throat> I think that this uh, this one right here I believe was uh, $18 and it's well worth the money I think I spent $22 on this one and uh, it was only like a 2.4 gigahertz and so yeah it, it's it's worth it you know it was worth uh, doing the switch um, also uh, on these right here since I think this USB thing if you're always gonna be messing with it it was very very loose and this one has no I mean it's it's straight on there and it's locked there's no way you're gonna be able to flex that right so it's I, I like this this product. It's very good and it's um, small, so it doesn't always get in the way. And I, I'm thinking this might have been getting caught on clothes or people walking by, or I don't know. I really don't know the reason why um, everybody kept messing it up. But anyways, compact, faster, cheaper, and way better than the single band. So. That's all I gotta say on this one, uh, guys. Uh, hopefully that helps, helps you decide whether you wanna purchase this one. Like I said, this is the AC600 Wi-Fi dual band USB adapter. So you guys uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe um, so I can keep bringing you some more videos on some of these products and see you on the next one. Thank you guys.